you guys just welcome back and welcome to another vlog i am working the club tonight it is a sunday and i surprisingly have a lot of energy considering the amount of sleep that i've had over the past few days and how sore my body is but we're gonna go to the club tonight we're gonna make some money um i'm aiming for a thousand <laughs> i need to buy a new laptop next week I've got like this is the fifth vlog that I've that I have recorded and I haven't had a chance to edit yet because my um I've been having technical <laughs> technological issues. Um I just have no space left on my computer and so like every time I try to like um edit a video it just crashes and I'm due for a new laptop anyway, so gonna get that done. Last time I worked a Sunday was two weeks ago and um, it was really dead all night up until like in the last hour and a half I got added into a VIP and I ended up doing like an hour and a half in VIP which I'm super grateful for but also like before then I'd made like $200 all night so I don't have super high expectations <laughs> literally just set the goal for like $1,000 but you know um that would be amazing if I did, but no pressure on myself. Otherwise, um, I'll figure something out. And yeah, let's let's make some money. Pre-work outfit is brought to you by Danny's t-shirt, which looks like a dress, but you know, strippers gotta be comfortable on the way to work. So this is what we're going with. <laughs> But um, I'm just about to go on stage in the next song, so I need to go up and um, request my songs and yeah, hopefully get some tips. There was like a woman sitting there and she wasn't tipping and I was like, you've got a tip to sit here. And then she like got up and left and then um, she came back and there was another dancer there who was like sitting with this customer at the stage while she wasn't tipping and I was like, why? Like, like, what's the point of her being here? Like, just go and sit and talk somewhere else? I don't know. Anyway, I've got to go do my um, VIP podium stage, but... Okay, it is 11. I've done another dance, so that's pretty much it. Getting there. There's people, but no one's really doing anything, so... We'll see. sitting at the front and they literally put like there were four of them two of them put down a dollar each and I was like can you guys tip <laughs> like because you have to tip to sit here and they're like yeah we, we gave you money and I'm like yeah but I need at least a dollar each like give me a real tip <laughs> like, and I was like yeah otherwise you have to leave and they were like come see us later and I'm like you have to leave <laughs> And then um, just some people came up and threw that like, cash, actual cash on the stage. And I was like, that's how you do it. So that was a nice surprise. Love that. Okay, I'm back at the hotel and we have some hydrolite. So cheers, drink up. Stay hydrated. I, tonight wasn't too bad. I didn't really know what to expect. It like um, 
day. Yeah, obviously, like, the last Sunday that I worked, it was, like, was a bit of a drag most of the night. I'm pretty happy with what I did. I mean, like, it could have been, it could have been a lot worse. There was probably, like, one Bucks party. There are a few people from um, a few, like, gigs that were on. And then, like, yeah, as always, a bunch of kids that just, like, sit around and do nothing. <laughs> Um, by kids I mean like 18 year olds, not like literal kids, but yeah. Um, and there was an event, um, like people from, um, a big event that, um, all came in. I didn't do any VIPs, everyone was just kind of doing small dances. And, um, yeah, I did get some, some tips on stage. I'm gonna count these in a minute. I can't like trade them in until... I come back to Melbourne though, so that's kind of a rip, but whatever. There was, um, oh yeah, the, um, woman, like, from my first stage, at the very start of the night, she came up to me and she was like, I worked here 20 years ago, blah, 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 blah. She's like, this place has kind of lost its touch. It used to be like a place where you could come and appreciate women and like it used to be so glamorous and now it's like you don't wear gowns anymore and it's just like you're not like really seen as a prize anymore and I was like what industry is the same as it was 20 years ago you know especially with like technology and I don't know like if I agree with her or not I mean like yeah I, I I have been dancing long enough to have um experienced the the gowns and I, I hated them I was not a fan of the gowns like I just found that like they weren't flattering um especially I mean like 20 years ago like they would have had um like the gowns would have been stylish for the time but super gowns kind of like stayed the same like they didn't really evolve with different like styles and trends and stuff they kind of like they looked very outdated at all like constantly and I don't know if I particularly felt more glamorous or like more um sophisticated or like more ladylike wearing a gown I kind of just felt like uncomfortable more than anything and um I suppose like I do see her point where it's like you know you're not really like showing as much and it's more of like a mystery but um, it's also kind of like I'm a, like I'm not gonna skirt around the fact that I'm getting my pussy out for money, you know? Like, why do we have to, like, do this, like, act modest and be like, oh, like, I've got, like, it, like, I'm wearing a gown, I'm being, like, it's like, no, we all know that you're, like, these customers are here to get tits in their face, like, they don't need to have, like, someone wearing something that covers everything, you know? I don't know. I feel like um, I can see why, like the gowns were that, like why we wore gowns. But also, like I'm very much like mm, I'm good. I don't think like it's really something that needs to be like continued as time goes on, you know. And like the industry, the industry is just different. It's like, I, f I feel as though there's been like a rise in, um, and I mean like, like with, or with like OnlyFans and everything, like I feel like society has become more like sexually liberated in a lot of ways. So it's like, we don't really, like it, it's, it's not like too outrageous for us to wear like, um, slingshots and stuff. I remember, um, when I first went to LA in 2016 and going to um, all the like dancer shops in Hollywood and seeing slingshots and being like, whoa, like, 
girls are wearing these in the club and now like slingshots are everywhere and it's just like so I find it so interesting I've been saying for like for a few like for a few years now that I'm gonna do like a video on like the evolution of stripper style I do really want to do that I do really want to do that but it's so hard to find like the, like the resources but I'm sure I'll get there Otherwise, like, there wasn't a whole heap of, like, noteworthy things that happened. Um, there was, oh my god, I, there was this guy, and he ca came up to me, uh, like, he came up to me a few times asking about prices, and, um, I, every time I'm like, I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna go. He's just wasting, like, wasting my time. And then, um, eventually he, he, like, asked for five minutes, and well first of all he's he didn't like the room we were in he's like oh it's too open and I'm like all of these rooms are pretty open unless you pay to go to VIP which is going to be a lot more than what you're paying and but I, I managed to find a room that he you know was happy with we go in there and like he hands like he hands me the money and he's like um like, I'm sure I'm going to be giving you, like, plenty more money. And in my head, I'm like, hmm, okay, we'll see. But I do the dance. It was just five minutes. Five minutes is up, and I'm like, okay, darling, like, I'm going to stay for longer. And he's he starts, like, talking about prices. And um, he's like, sure, like, you can cut me a deal, right? And I was like, no, like, no I'm not going to do that. And um, I was like, we can continue what we just did. We can do that booking again. Do you want to do that? And he was like, oh, yeah. Um. Eventually he goes, the best I can do is $50 for half an hour. And I look at him and I'm like, this is just after I told him the price of VIP as well. And... In case you haven't guessed, VIP is a lot more than $50 for the half hour. And I'm like, no, no, we, we do what we did before or nothing. And he's like, $50 for half an hour, I think that's fair. That's all I can do. And I was like... If, like, even with the, with the five minutes that I did before... I was questioning if that was worth it. There's no way in hell that I'm going to do like half an hour. <sighs> anyway, I'm like, no. Nah. And then I walk up and like I move to like another seat because I'm like, I'm not like I, I can't be bothered talking to him. And he's like, come, come back. And um, he, he tried to haggle the, haggle the price even more. He's like, we can come to an agreement. We can like come up with something that's fair. I'm like, it, like the prices are fair, and I and then I and I'd say to him like these aren't my prices; these are the club prices, and he's like, oh no, like I I, I can't do, like. The only thing I can do is fifty dollars for half an hour, and I was like, oh my god, hopeless, hopeless. Painful. Anyway. Let's count some money. So I only did a hundred on the square reader, and I've got like a stack of tipping dollars. So I'm gonna count these. I have exactly fifty-five tipping dollars. So let's see. That is. $46.75 plus we've got that 100 from Square and let's count the cash so we have one two three four four fifty seventy 
So did $646.75, which I'm not going to complain about. I'm pretty happy with that. Would it be nice to hit a K, but I'm, I'm like, look, I'm not going to complain about this in February. So yeah, not the worst night I've ever had. So grateful for the, for the money that I did make. Really want to be able to trade these in right now though. So it's okay. So that was a Sunday night in February. 2024 in Melbourne I don't know when I'm gonna be back in Melbourne I'm still figuring out like how I'm gonna balance like work and study but I'm sure I'll be back either way please make sure that you are subscribed and click the notification bell so that you can keep up to date find out when I have another vlog coming out next and yeah all my links are down below also, if you like this kind of content, please click the like button so that I know that you like it. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a magical day.